What's happening guys? How you doing? Welcome back to the Drum Central's YouTube channel. My name is Dave Major and today we're going to break down a Mike Johnson double stacker groove. Uh, this comes in from one of our subscribers, Sonny. So this one's for you, man. I don't have two stackers though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and play our stack sound on my hi-hat. So PDF below, please download, please print out and let's get cracking. So we're going to keep quarter notes on our left foot throughout this whole groove. So it's a bit of a coordination challenge, but with enough practice, I know you guys will get it. So this is going to go one, two, three, four. We're then going to do a four stroke rough between two kick drums, right, left, into the two of the, the bar, which is going to be one, like that. Basically go for that. Try and play those doubles as fast as you can, but still keep them clean. Then we're going to have the and of two as a bass drum on its own. And then we're going to get this double stacker action. We're going to have three and four. Now that would be a stacker over here, but I'm going to use my hi-hat. If you have two stackers, awesome. Use them. If you have four, use all of them all the time. So this whole bar is going to sound like this. So the second bar, we're going to go up to a choked crash cymbal, which we're going to have the bass drum on the one. Now, I just forgot to mention, there's also a bass drum on the and of four before. So we're going to have one and on the bass drum, two and three, four. With a bass drum as well. Always we've got to have those bass drums with our crash cymbals. So that whole bar, we still get, get this quarter note happening, it's going to sound like this. So now let's try and put them, both of those bars together with our metronome. And we're going to go to 88 beats a minute. If that's a bit too fast for you, please do take it back. Start at 68, 48, doesn't really matter. The end goal is to play this as clean as you can. 88. And now a little bit faster at 108 beats a minute. And now at Mike Johnson tempo of 128 beats a minute. I think that's pretty cool. With two stackers, it's even cooler. He does some sort of cymbal stopping stuff as well. So I hope that's opened up your possibilities of what actually makes a groove and how to use some different percussive sounds on your kit. Hope you like this video. Please hit subscribe and follow through at the Drum Central website. I'll catch you soon.